I've got four words that I know are gonna trigger the hell out of you. Happy wife, happy life. It's a lie. It's, I say it's responsible for more divorces than Facebook and Eat, Pray, Love put together. And I know that, <laughs> that in itself will trigger some people. Because it's not happy wife, happy life. It's not the root of it. The root is I'm okay only if you're okay. Now that doesn't give my partner or whoever this other person is even the allowance to have her own experience. Because part of being human sometimes is not being okay. Part of being human is not being happy all the time. So what it's really saying is let me be manipulative and controlling and conniving and collapsed so that you're okay and you're happy so that I don't feel threatened in any way by being who I am. I've got four words that I know are gonna trigger the hell out of you. Happy wife, happy life, and go. It's a lie. It's, I say it's responsible for more divorces than Facebook and Eat, Pray, Love put together. And I know that <laughs> that in itself will trigger some people. It's happy life, happy life. If you are literally, as a man, so codependent that the only way you're going to have a happy life is if you make someone else happy, brother, good luck to that. I can sit here, I can give you the names of thousands of divorced men, who, myself included, who adopted that mantra. And how many women, if we say, really, is that how you want your partnership to be? Do you want your partner to hide his needs, to be afraid of conflict, to not have a mission, not have a purpose, not lead, not be sovereign, and to need you, hear the words, need you to be happy for him to be happy? Is that really the kind of authentic conscious relationship you want to have? Any woman with any grain of consciousness in her soul will say no. Any human will, right? I, I use the example, I was a bodyguard in Hollywood for, for a decade almost. And you would see these guys come into talent agencies. You'd see like the big wig director. And they'd have like a circle of yes people around them. Oh my God, that's a great idea. Yes, 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 yes. And I remember thinking, this is when I was in my 20s. I remember thinking at some point, does that guy not want someone to go, hey, I think that's a really dumb idea, right? It's, I know I do. I have a wonderful, incredible group of guy friends and men all over the world. And many times they're like, hey man, that's pretty stupid. I'm like, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. If they were constantly saying like, no, 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 you're, you're a genius, you're brilliant. Oh, you're upset right now? I totally changed my answer. I totally changed my answer. Let me just collapse what I, what I think and believe so that you're okay and I need you to be okay so that I'm okay. That would drive us crazy. Because it's not happy wife, happy life. It's not the root of it. The root is I'm okay only if you're okay. Now that doesn't give my partner or whoever this other person is even the allowance to have her own experience because part of being human sometimes is not being okay. Part of being human is not being happy all the time. So what it's really saying is let me be manipulative and controlling and conniving and collapsed so that you're okay and you're happy so that I don't feel threatened in any way by being who I am. And if that whole five minute diatribe hasn't shifted people, then just embrace the fact that you want control over your partner, that, that women, you want a little boy. That's who you're marrying to, married to or in partnership with. Because a grown ass man will say, hey, I don't agree with that. And a grown ass man will want to be with a woman who says, hey, guess what? I'm not okay or I'm not really happy with that answer. I still love you. I'm not leaving the partnership. I'm, this isn't blow up the container of our relationship. But man, if there can't be any conflict in a relationship, I don't know what, I think that's, that's not real. It's not real. Yeah, I, I agree with all that. And uh, to bring up something very, very personal that I don't even think I've ever talked about in 300 plus episodes, but this uh, kind of triggered a memory. Um, like anybody else that's been married 15 years, two kids living in Los Angeles, both of us working parents, We've had some very close calls. Things have been very rough. We've had our dark period. So I don't think that that's like, oh my God, like I, I don't have a perfect marriage because I don't think that anybody does. And if they say they do, I'll show you a liar, <laughs> right? 
But I would say that if I had to pinpoint the one single thing that has brought me to the point where right now I'm not only still married, but happily married through all of it, is that my wife and I, when we got engaged, we made a pact. We said, if at any point either of us is unhappy, we have to tell the other person and we have to be willing to go to therapy. Mm. We, and that was it. We just Beautiful. said, okay, we agree. Yep. So having that openness to say, hey, this is really hard to say, but remember the pact, we need to talk. And we mm. both had that conversation more than once, but if we didn't have that safety valve or safety net, so to speak, right. I would not be married right now. We would not have been able to figure it out. But because of that one conversation and that vulnerability and you have permission to say that you are not happy and vice versa, I'm still married. Beautiful. It's Without true. that, we wouldn't be here. Right, you had to deal with what's real. 